Hey everybody, it's your friend Angus and I'm just doing a quick video to introduce you to the uh, Tower of Feels. And this is a game that I adapted from uh, a Jenga uh, set that I picked up at the dollar store. So it's just little miniature pieces, uh, easy enough to sort of work with and fiddle with. And um, and this uh, game was sort of developed from a bit of a formula that I kind of came up with in my mind that uh, does a little bit of reflection on information that exists for free out there um, for everybody to just sort of do their own research and their own learning um, and to sort of take some of that philosophy and then add it to skills-based uh, cognitive behavioral therapy uh, tools and same with dialectical behavioral therapy so the hands-on aspect of things is great uh, so I use the cognitive behavioral therapy uh, tool called catch check change and um, and then the theory is based on the um, Plutchik's Wheel of Emotions. And so if you look that up, you can find out all sorts of information and it's actually been uh, updated. Um, but essentially what I show here is that the eight primary emotions are anger, fear, sadness, disgust, surprise, anticipation, trust, and joy. Um, the really cool thing is that this theory applies to all animals, including humans. Um, it helps us to adapt, uh, emotions help us adapt to our environment. Um, primary emotions can be conceptualized by pairing polar opposites. So in his theory, um, if you take uh, an emotion like um, mad, the opposite emotion is, is powerful, right? So feeling powerful, um, joyful opposite sad right um, and so the uh, the way that I apply it in terms of uh, applying catch check change is that if the emotion that comes up is um, let's say sad right then the opposite emotion of that is joyful and the idea is how do we uh, reflect on the piece and apply it to our own life and how do we change those thoughts or those triggers into uh, a different outcome or a positive outcome uh, with the idea of just creating a different um, pattern of thought in our brain which is science um, and so that's that it's also based so what I really like about it uh, as a reflective tool and as a journaling tool is that um, so with the circle you have um, sad but there's so many emotions so if we're in a bad space personally or if I'm in a bad mood sometimes I can feel like that's the only I don't know maybe like deep grief is the only way that I can uh, sort of fathom uh, my experience Whereas if I go out further in the ring, uh, it goes on to describe sad as, as possibly sleepy or bored or lonely, depressed, ashamed or guilty. So if I'm actually feeling more along that line, well, maybe, maybe my feelings aren't as intense as I sort of feel like they are based on my own negative talk, right? Uh, and then if you even go further, you know, it could be bashful or feeling stupid or miserable or inadequate or inferior or apathetic. And so, you know, it's really about kind of capturing what's going on in the emotion at the time um, or, or, some, or tying it back to something that you've kind of lived in the past and then sort of seeing how you can transition out of that, right? Uh, and so like talking about the cognitive behavioral uh, skill, catch, check, change. Uh, what we're looking at is catching it. So catch the negative thoughts, learn to be aware of what you're thinking, um, 
we can analyze our own thoughts like that's that's what we do as people like we're built to do that uh check so check it make sure that you're being rational so don't you know don't check facts when you're at a thousand miles an hour in your brain or completely pissed start to really look like take the time for yourself and really look at the evidence um examine the evidence use logic right like um, if all of your facts are based on the fact that someone's done something to you or angered you or made you feel a certain way, like those are, those are feelings, right? They're not necessarily facts and facts can be sort of perceived differently based on our emotions. So, uh, try to use logic, uh, be specific. So don't generalize. Don't be like, oh, you always blah, 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 blah. Uh, really kind of try to narrow it down because it's super easy to just pull in all <laughs> misery. And then, uh, so be specific, be reasonable. And then change, right? So uh, change, explore ways to change the thought into a positive as opposed to that first negative thought, right? So that that so that triggered first instant thought and you know that's not to say like put rose colored glasses on it's not to say forget what's going on it's just to say you know in how you're receiving it how could you receive it in a better way like what would work in a better way because we can't escape some things right we can't escape some reactions feelings incidences uh, what we can do is sort of manage how we respond to them and survive them, right? And we've done it. Like, we're good. We've, we're surviving, and that's the goal, right? So how do I apply it to this? Well, I've used this as a discussion tool, so I've worked with uh, people before and just sort of used it to base a discussion. I really love things like tarot and uh, tools that I use for mindfulness, so sort of like meditation practice. So I do love the element of surprise in this and what emotion is going to come up. Uh, there could be some woo-woo behind it because of my own spiritual practice. Um, don't have go, 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 mama. And, um, and then also, like, I've used it as a journaling tool, so sort of like... Uh, choosing a, um, an emotion, reflecting on both sides of it, seeing what pulls me in both directions, and then kind of using that to sort of inform some writing that I'm going to do or some reflection, right? And so principally speaking, it works the same way as a Jenga game. So um, I also like it because it's small and my fingers are huge. And so I even have to, now I do, you know, I do give myself a break because the pieces aren't really like crisp and shiny, right? So I'm also kind of, you know, being, uh, being um, uh, gentle with the rules in terms of playing with my, my own self. Uh, so this came out as intelligent. So intelligent, now I color-coded the, the, um, the words. I wrote it on in marker and so I come and I look at the wheel and I see intelligent do I see it opposite of red so I mean it should be pensive am I looking at a different wheel Oh, no, it's, uh, sorry, I didn't color code it quite possibly. So, uh, intel and this really just shows where I'm at, uh, but intelligence shows here on the wheel. And then when I go across from there and I look at the opposite, it's irritated, right? So I think, oh, so if intelligence is like a... It's in the confidence family because it's in the powerful, like feeling powerful uh, spectrum of things. And then on the other side, it's like mad and it kind of goes into, um, uh, so intelligent goes into mad and then hateful and then irritated. Hoo-wee, right? So 
does that like if I'm reflecting on that do I go well okay so if irritation is the opposite of intelligence if I'm showing like an extreme uh, an extreme emotion right that I'm showing that I'm irritated how is that going to come off right so I want to be able to be calm I want to be able to be able to identify where I'm feeling so if I'm looking at okay so if I'm experiencing anger because let's face it when we get pushed up against the wall of somebody who is coming off as like say more intelligent than us we tend to get a little mad about that but instead of taking it personally, instead of getting like so mad because of all the other times that that's happened, right, or that I've been undermined, well, maybe I'm actually just feeling like hateful towards the situation. Maybe the emotion is just like exhaustion, hate towards that feeling, right? And then if I'm actually just irritated because I haven't eaten or I haven't slept, well, of course I'm going to come off a certain way or that I haven't fully prepared myself to have a discussion about that thing, right? So I want to kind of make an action plan as to how I can uh, control that, okay? So that's an example, uh, and we'll do another one. So I put this up here, then I come back and I go, oh, here's a nice slippity slippy. Boom chaka. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. It's something else. I'm cheating. So thankful, right? Thankful. And thankful lands. Where does thankful land? Is that in the same? Thankful. Looking for the word. What am I looking for? The other side's bewildered, so that's actually quite appropriate in the moment. <laughs> uh, so if I can find bewildered or thankful. There it is. Thankful is under peaceful. So peaceful is being that sort of main, uh, main feeling. Then it goes out to nurturing. Then it goes out to thankful. And then on the other side, um, it goes out to uh, bewildered, right? So, and then bewildered. Uh, it was also like a more intense version of that is rejected and a more intense version of that is um, scared so if I'm not feeling peaceful and I'm feeling scared if I'm not feeling at ease in my own skin and I'm feeling quite anxious um, you know like how can I go from confused bewildered to feeling gratitude right uh, what steps could be taken so uh, you know maybe I am reflecting maybe I am feeling confused because I feel rejected or left out or something right and that's really big right now um, and then I go okay well maybe I'm feeling rejected and left out but it's maybe I'm afraid to be alone and then how can I be alone and be at calm with that right and so what things can I do what can I, you know, instead of thinking, well, I'm all alone and I'm always going to be alone, da, 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 how can we use catch, check, change? So, like, checking it. Hmm. Well, I'm not always alone. I'm, I often have friends. I often have people around me. I can do things. I can make new friends. I'm quite wonderful that way. And then going, okay, well, oh, okay, well, the, you know, everybody's busy right now. Everybody's stressed right now. Um, I can make it my own. I can do my own thing. I can have my own tradition. I can start a thing that maybe one day when somebody hears about it, they're going to be like, oh, could I join you for that thing, right? So, um, so you know, you still feel it. Like, it's not like, oh, okay, all of a sudden everything is wonderful. It's just to say, how do we get that momentum going, right? So anyway, um, tower feels. So I said, set up pieces and play regular Django rules. Uh, remove 
the remove tile, read the word and reflect. Flip over and bridge to the opposite emotion and check in with the time that you felt that way. That's it, folks. It's a simple little game. It's packed full of stuff. You know, if you want to look into Plutchik's Wheel of Emotions, if you want to look into cognitive behavioral therapy skills and where that theory came from and who that helps, if you want to reflect on animals and animal emotions and how they connect and how they can connect to us and how we feel about them, if you just want to play Jenga with a tiny little miniature thing and feel like a giant, you can really do anything, right? So I just wanted to share that with everyone. Um, I came up with the idea two years ago when I started with the rap program uh, here in my hometown. Um, I was super excited uh, to learn about Mary Ellen Copeland and the rap uh, and then went to seek it out in my area and, one, and discovered a wonderful resource uh, called Psychiatric Survivors of Ottawa and that started my journey and so here I am now right so we're here today um, that's my game and then if you're really like frustrated you can be like eh, I hate this game oh my goodness but try not to do that because that's like the opposite of peaceful and joyful and all of those things but it's very real and if you want to not think about words anymore and you can set them up like dominoes boom bada, boom 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 so all kinds of options right uh play by yourself play with friends play on the line on the computer just talk about playing whatever you gotta do all right thanks it's been angus you visited me here angus by design technical and all that stuff talk to you soon